So here's my back door for this camp out. Look at the colors of those quaking aspens. You got the yellows, the oranges, the greens, probably a little bit of red in there. Striking, just beautiful. Early fall, Rocky Mountains. On a solo camp out overnighter. I always like starting these mini reviews off with where I'm at, what it looks like, setting the stage to let you know this stuff is not fake, it's real. And I try to do this more and more, in-field reviews. I mean, look at this place, it's so cool. I've seen elk up here, deer, turkey, fox, badger, mountain bluebirds, and probably some other creatures I've forgotten. I'm gonna set up the REI Flex Light chair right on that ridge. Get out my binos and just watch the wildlife as the sun sets, which will be pretty quick here. Beautiful, man. Not a soul up here. I mean, you might see someone come putting by up here, but it's hard to get up here. It's difficult. It's not easy. You can hike in. You can mountain bike in. Mountain biking would be really tough. But as you can see, I used uh, a favorite steed, the KTM 690 Enduro R. Like I said in the review, if I could have just one bike, I'm limited to one motorcycle, this is it. Does technical terrain, can haul a fair amount of gear. I don't have racks on this one because, uh, well, I'll tell you that in the review. What a great way to get up here. Love this motorcycle. So I got most of the gear unloaded on it. And we're really not talking about the scenery or the bike. Both of those are awesome for the record. We're gonna talk about getting a good night's sleep in a location like this. I'm gonna dock it into a tripod. And one of the things I have a hard time with, and I'll roll in some photos or some video of past camping adventures in TMP, is getting a good night's sleep. I usually will take two mattresses, a closed cell foam, an inflatable one like a thermorest, and then the pillow is always a problem. I'll roll in a photo in the past, I've used stuffable Qualifil polo, uh, pillows, and they work pretty good. They're comfortable, but they're bulky, and they're not exactly lightweight. A couple months ago, I just, on a whim, started searching in Amazon to see if there's another option for a collapsible, super awesome camp pillow, and this is what I came up with and found, and I'm recommending it to you now. The Eros pillow premium I guess it comes in two sizes this is the large a weighs as you can see about four ounces I got two uh, one's in package right here to show you what it looks like link in the bottom there if you want to buy it best price I could find for y'all and this is what it looks like collapsed packed look how tiny this thing is <laughs> is that excellent or what Nice little stuff sack. I mean, you can fit this in any system. An SAWC limited motorcycle system, like you're seeing with me on the 690 Enduro R. Backpacking. Travel pillow, like if you do airline trips and stuff, you're a business person. Nice. It has a big valve here, so you can puff it up really quick. I'll do it right now. Show you what it looks like. That quick. Look how awesome. Uh, I have slept on this already. It is excellent. It's not super thick. If you you know really need a high pillow, you might get two. I have tried other options like stuffing a fleece, you know, jacket into a stuff sack, and I've hated those options. They've never worked for me. That's why I went to well the other pillows like the fiber fill, qualo fill pillows. But now uh, I'm pretty much using this. And then if I do need more height that night or what type of terrain I'm sleeping on, uh, maybe I will put the fleece folded over in squares and get, maybe give it some more loft. It's covered in a very soft synthetic flannel. Well, it's not flannel, but it's uh, some type of, I'm seeing it. synthetic padding increases comfort, wicks away moisture, whatever, synthetic fabric. It breathes, so you're not going to get clammy with it. And it's tough. It hasn't popped on me yet. It may in the future, and if so, I guess I'll uh, find a way to take it out of its cover and fix it, or better yet, I'll just send it back to Sea to Summit. Yeah, they're not exactly inexpensive, but it's a very technical piece of backpacking, mountaineering, and in this case, motorcycling gear.
So if you're a motorcycle adventurer, you might want to look at this. Highly recommended. The Eros Pillow in premium weighs nothing. I'm very stoked about it. Time to get busy setting up camp. I'm going to do an episode of QTN. Nothing fancy project. I hope you're having a good life getting out and adventuring. Look at this cool little place I can set up in. See you guys out.